So I've been looking for some solar mounts for probably a little over a year now. I don't want a permanent fixture, at least not at this point. And I uh, ran across these on the AliExpress website. You could put basically one solar panel per mount. And they're about half the price of all the mounts that I've seen anywhere else. It says 44 inch adjustable solar panel tilt mount brackets. If they're decent, I may end up eventually using four of these to mount some 200 watt solar panels on my patio roof, which is a metal tin roof. I'll see if I can come up with a decent way to do that without drilling a bunch of holes in the roof utilizing these mounts. So far they look decent. Uh, they're aluminum, it comes with a bag of hardware. So we'll put this together and then I'll put a 100 watt Renergy solar panel. I've got four of those I'd like to set up as a kind of mobile solar panels. So, and uh, that way I could just move them around wherever necessary to get the best sun. It has four of these with all the holes in them. And they are 44 and 7 eighths. And then I've got two of these shorter solid pieces. And these are the adjustable mount. And then a bag of hardware. Now these are the Renogy 100 watt solar panels, I think called the compact. They have the little blue corners on them. And these are just under 21 inches. I think I might be able to put two solar panels on one mount. And if that's the case, that would really be nice. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I noticed these are really sharp. It's got burrs on there. So you could really cut yourself with these if you're not careful. So I'm going to go ahead and get these rails mounted on two solar panels. And then I'm going to have this set up to where I can wire it in series. And I'll have a 200 watt solar panel on a portable mount. I'm going to take a hand file and round off the corners a little bit and these edges on each end of these long pieces. Because these are gonna be mobile and I'm gonna be handling the mounts and the solar panels quite a bit and I just don't wanna get cut. And since it's aluminum, it's real easy to file. That'll take that sharp edge off of there and I think it's worth a couple of seconds. That's gonna be a lot nicer. Okay, since I'm gonna put two panels on here, I'm gonna need four extra bolts and washers because the kit only comes with enough to mount one solar panel on each mount. And then you have to just kind of arrange this however your panels are set up. See, I got a bolt hole lined up there. I could move a little bit and get these two lined up and then maybe get that one in there. So I'll just have to fiddle with that a little bit and find the best combination of exactly where to place the leg on the sides. And I'll just do both sides the same. And I'm going to use these short bolts with no wing nuts to mount the solar panel to the frame. And it gives you four washers as well and then four of these nuts. And then it gives you six of these, and I think these are for the adjustment portion. At least that's where I'm going to use them. Then I've got my own stainless nut and bolt hardware for the second panel, which does not come in the kit. And if you're using their hardware, they did not send an Allen wrench. You're going to need a six millimeter Allen wrench for the supplied hardware that comes with the mounts. So you can easily fit these Renogy panels on these rails and I had to space them with about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch in between the panels in the center just to get all the holes to line up properly so I could get all four. And then remember you need your, your own hardware for one of the panels. It only comes with enough hardware for one. But I was able to get those on there with no problem. So then you have two more of the long ones slats in one side and holes in the other and I'm going to put this in the bottom hole and I'm just going to use one of these uh, thumb screw or wing nut type with a nut on the back side and this will allow you to loosen or tighten as you make adjustments for the angle it'll go wherever you need it to be to set the angle so we'll put one of those on each end You have two more short pieces, these 21 and a half, I think they were, and you're going to put them between those two longer pieces at whatever angle you think is appropriate. This also gets the wing nuts, so these are hand adjustable.
Now I've got two 100 watt panels. Open circuit voltage is 24.3. So I'm going to double that. It'll be 48 volts and 200 watts. So I'm going to take the positive from one panel and connect it to the negative of the other panel. And that'll leave me a positive and a negative. So that's wired in series. That's going to give me a 200 watt array that's about 42 inches wide and 45 inches tall. And I've got it set on there with the widest stance that I can have. And just for fun, let's check the open circuit voltage on this array. Depends on your panels, but uh, these are energy panels. What I say? 24 volts each, I think, open circuit. So 45.3 at the angle they're sitting right now with full sun. But that's going to work real nice. I like these mounts. I think the hardware that comes with them, pretty darn nice. Stainless steel, easy to work with. I wish they would put the Allen wrench in the package, but that's fine. I just happened to have one, so it worked out okay. And then you can mount that to whatever you need to mount it to if that's what you were preferred to do. So I do like the mounts. I think they're worth it for what they're selling them for on the AliExpress website. And I'll put a link to this product in the video description if you want to check it out. But for me, that's going to work out pretty nice. I'll have to put another one of these together and then I'll have my 400 watts on some aluminum mounts that are portable so I can place them around my yard where necessary to get the best sun. On the screen now is another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And if you click on that video, I'll meet you over there.